In June 2025, the Chinese aerospace firm Jiutian plans to launch flight trials for its SSUAV, a high-altitude, long-endurance, hail, drone platform that doubles as a flying base for swarm drones. This next-gen system, first unveiled at the 2024 Zhuhai Airshow, is emblematic of China's push toward advanced unmanned aerial warfare, complementing its development of sixth-generation fighter aircraft and integrated battle networks. Distinct from U.S. platforms like the MQ-9 Reaper and RQ for Global Hawk, Jiutian's SSUAV is not just for reconnaissance or targeted strikes. Instead, it functions as a centralized command hub, orchestrating the coordinated deployment of drone swarms. Rather than acting as a single-strike tool, it is engineered to manage complex, multi-node aerial operations, giving China a potentially decisive edge in future engagements, especially in contested zones. At the heart of its design is the concept of distributed aerial power, emphasizing resilience, scalability, and strategic ambiguity. The SSUAV stands out due to its ability to deploy up to 100 microdrones or deliver precision-guided munitions from high altitudes around 15,000 meters, with a range reaching 7,000 kilometers. With a wingspan of 25 meters and a 15-ton frame, this unmanned mothership is equipped for both offensive and command missions. Beyond just launching drones, it can operate autonomously with satellite coordination and advanced onboard systems for real-time intelligence gathering, electronic warfare, and target tracking. The drone's rapid development reflects China's broader effort to incorporate private innovation into its defense strategy. Jiutian, as a civilian company, represents this shift, blending commercial drone technologies with military utility. Since early 2023, the mothership drone idea gained momentum, and by mid-2024, the SSUAV had become a centerpiece of China's drone evolution narrative. The planned flight in mid-2025 highlights not just technical maturity but also the government's commitment to speeding up field trials and closing the gap with global drone leaders. While still in its experimental phase and not yet mass-produced, the SSUAV's modular build allows for flexible mission roles and future upgrades. It is not only a prototype but a blueprint for China's potential dominance in swarm-based aerial warfare. If successful, it could usher in a new doctrine of unmanned strike coordination, optimized for extended missions with no human risk. From a geopolitical standpoint, the SSUAV's debut could reshape military calculations, particularly across regions like the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea. In such hotspots, an airborne swarm launching platform could penetrate defenses, overwhelm radar networks, and maintain persistent surveillance, all without a single pilot in harm's way. The U.S. once explored similar mothership concepts under DARPA's Gremlins program, but China appears closer to deploying an operational version at scale. Furthermore, this advancement is synchronized with other high-profile Chinese military projects, including sixth-generation fighter prototypes and naval expansion. It forms part of a broader strategy to leverage autonomy, cost efficiency, and swarm complexity to outmaneuver traditional air defense systems. For the U.S. and its allies, this raises urgent questions about counter-swarm capabilities and the future of manned air dominance. As the June 2025 test flight approaches, the global defense community is closely watching not only for signs of technical readiness but also for the strategic implications. With the SSUAV, China is not just fielding another drone, it's attempting to rewrite the rules of aerial combat by turning the skies into a decentralized, drone-dominated battle space.